Hello and welcome to the COVID-19 Mental Health Awareness episode about taking control of your life amid storms and living more zen. I am your host, Anisha Rao. I am so excited to introduce today's speaker, Dr. Galen Cole, a psychotherapist, hypnotherapist, and a public health leader. Thank you so much, Dr. Cole, for joining us today. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, Anisha. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to participate. Thank you so much, Dr. Cole. So Dr. Cole, based on your experience, how do you recommend we may be able to find stillness amidst storms? Uh, the simplest answer, Anisha, is uh, preparation. Uh, if, if you've lived as long as I have, if you're lucky to get to 66, you know that life has its ups and downs. I went to high school uh, during the late 60s and we had all kinds of chaos and and here, here we're experiencing a lot of difficulties as a society. So uh, we, we know things are coming just like the weather changes. Uh, you use the metaphor of a storm. Uh, we know these things are coming. So it's important to use the collective wisdom of the past. Uh, I remember in my own life that I feel what I focus on. And I can change my feeling by changing my focus. Uh, so I, if I'm going to focus on things that I can't control the future, it, it's going to create a lot of anxiety in me. If I'm, if I'm going to focus on regrets about the past, it's going to create sadness. So I teach my clients uh, to, to learn from the past, prepare for the future, and live in the present. Thank you, Dr. Cole. So you mentioned control. So how can we take control and live more zen? Live more zen. I, there's a lot of definitions of Zen. It's mostly about being mindful, being intentional. Uh, being intentional means planning, thinking ahead. Uh, I, I've done a number of studies. Uh, one, one of the studies I did is uh, what differentiates people who are, who are emotionally balanced from those who struggle from either sadness or anxiety. And what I discovered is, is people who are emotionally balanced focus on things they can control, as per your point. We can control uh, our focus if, if we have, it's kind of like a television, if you have only one channel to focus on and it's a scary channel, you have no place to go. So uh, you need to, to create a place to go, either happy memories or create things you can focus on that make you feel peaceful. And then you need to practice doing that. And Zen is a practice. It's practicing thinking and doing things that help me feel the way I want to feel. Uh, my, my therapist is, is a monk. He's not actually a therapist. And he, he started out years ago and he said, since you don't know anything, what you want in life is you want to be peaceful and happy. And he said, because that's what you want, I want you to practice observing what comes up in your mind when you're activated, when you have a problem, when you're stressed, and then look, look at that, look at what you're thinking and thinking about doing. And if it's aligned with something that makes you peaceful and happy, then attach to it. If it's not aligned, then don't attach to it, let it go. Uh, the average person has 50,000 thoughts a day to make sense out of the, those thoughts we create stories. What he's saying is don't attach to stories that you tell yourself that make you not okay. Uh, that one warning there is a lot of my clients are coming in very distressed because they watch the news a lot. And if, if you focus in on a, any of the major networks, you'll, you'll hear this pulsating beat and this zoom bringing you in to the latest, most terrible thing that you can imagine. And if, if that's your diet, because when we take something in, it affects us. That's going to have a profound impact on you, especially given all the chaos that's happening in our society right now. Thank you so much, Dr. Cole. So Dr. Cole, I know that you educate a new coach about life script restructuring. So what are some of the life script restructuring resources that you would recommend to help us embrace new realities and become more resilient? Okay. Well, uh, even though I'm situated in Atlanta, Georgia, and call Atlanta home. I also have a home uh, near Hollywood because I've consulted on various shows over the years. Uh, 
one, one time years ago, I was asked to come to Raleigh studio and consult on a show. I think it's, it was private practice at the time. And what I noticed is as I was giving advice, uh, trying to make the script more believable, I noticed that the writers were changing the script. When I got done giving advice, I noticed there were seven writers at the time. They consolidated those seven versions into one and they handed the script off to, to Katie who played the part represented by the person I was speaking about. I saw Katie practicing her part of the script and then Jennifer, the director, called everybody on set and they shot that segment of the episode. And Jennifer said, it, it's a wrap. She looked at Katie and said, Katie, good job. You, you transported me. And I thought to myself, this is exactly what happens in my clinics. And so I excused myself, went out to my rental car and, and outlined what has now become the book Life Script Restructuring. And, and it's a four-part book. It's on my website at galencole.com. Uh, and it's simply uh, encouraging people to decide what, what they want. What is your vision of what you want in life? And then look at scripts or stories you're telling yourself that's undermining that vision. And then write a new script and then practice it using these techniques that, that I teach in the book. Uh, a daily practice of visualizing what you want and, and then visualizing how you can live in a way that's in alignment with that. So uh, obviously I would encourage people to, to get my book. It's uh, something that I believe in. I wrote it, it's called Life Script Restructuring. You, get, you can get it on Amazon uh, or you can go to my website, galencole.com and, and I have lots of resources there. Many of them are free. Thank you so much, Dr. Cole, for joining us today. And for Mental Health California, I am Anisha Rao. Thank you. Thank you.